Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are in North Hollywood, where the Television Academy and SAG AFTRA are holding the fifth annual Dynamic and Diverse Celebration. Perfect. Good. I'm yeah. good. Nice yeah, to meet yeah. you. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm waiting. I'm waiting no, here. No, you no, know. I understand. Yeah. So you know, I have to ask you. Um, some of the things that we've been talking about here today, and you know, obviously diversity and diversity in different roles. For you, what is the one change or something that you want to see improve upon here in the world of Hollywood? I want to see more diversity behind the camera. I mean, there's a decent amount right now. It's growing. I mean, like, you know, it's a fantastic thing seeing Channing Dungey be the head of ABC. But, uh, you know, the more diversity you have behind the camera, the more diversity you're going to get in front of the camera, and the more you accurately reflect the American scene back to America. People want to see themselves. So, would you say that from where you first started in Hollywood to now, that things are changing, or do you think that they could be changing a lot faster? Oh, things are definitely changing, but hell yeah, they can be changing faster. They get, you, can, you can always do better. The reality is until... You know, I mean, you know, my thing is I always say until the demographics really match the reality of America, you know, the demographics of television, then you haven't done your job. I mean, not that it's about numbers, but it's just an easy metric to check. I mean, if, you know, if you're, you know, 15% of the population, but you're 7% of TV, something's wrong. You know, if women are 51% 50, of the population, but women show up as like 30% of characters on TV, something's wrong. You know, you're, you're, not, you're not doing it. It's not about numbers, but you can look at numbers and say, you missed the mark. So, you know, for like other like young actors or that, you know, want to become an actor, but they see themselves and they see that they're not what's rep being represented on TV. For you, based on your experiences and your struggles, what would you say um, to those people? This is the best time ever to be yourself in television. The reality is technology has made it cheaper to create content. So you've got the Issa Rays of the world uh, putting their own non-traditional African-American character out there on the web and it turns into a series that, you know, they give her a show on HBO. You have a Crazy Ex-Girlfriend did her own web series and it became a, a show where she's like, you know, this is the way I see America, America and it's crazy. And the guy and the love interest she's chasing is Asian. And that doesn't normally happen in TV, but it does happen in the world because I know some hella handsome Asian guys and I'm like, I don't need you in my lane. Back up. I'm trying to get a job. Um, so it's a beautiful thing that you can actually, I would say to a young performer, Find people who write or write yourself, create your own content because you can do that now and people click on links. Look, people watch cats playing with yarn for like 15 minutes at a shot. If you create something that's actually worth watching for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, people pay attention. You know, you might get a click on that link and you might, it might go viral. You just need a, what, the one right person to check it out and next thing you know, you got a shot that you didn't have before. So for me, I think that that technology, you know what I mean? How, there have been entire movies shot on cameras, you know what I mean? Entire movie shot on and, and done well at fest, film festivals. So there's no, the lob schools have come way, way down, but there's a lot of stuff out there. So you still got to make really good product. You still got to make product. So my thing is study, train, know the craft, but at the end of the day, try and put your own story out there. Your uniqueness is the thing that will sell now more than ever. Make your opportunities happen. Make the opportunities happen because the reality is in television right now, we have a million ways to amuse ourselves. Video games, YouTube, everything like that that's going on. So. Ratings have come down, and the reality is now, in order for a show to be successful, you have to stack audiences. You have to say, let me make sure I'm putting something in there that African Americans will respond to, that Asians will respond to, that Latinos and Hispanics will respond to, that women will respond to. You know, I mean, all the way to, you know, people, I have a lot of friends who are performers with disabilities, and they, don't see, they haven't seen themselves in TV for the longest time. And now you've got shows like Speechless, and I was just hanging with my boy Micah a second ago, who's the lead of, of Speechless, and he's fantastic. And the fact that that's there... There's a huge audience that tunes in for that just because they're like, thank goodness you're finally showing us. Because we've been here, but we haven't seen ourselves. And so that's happening more and more now. And the fact that, you know, there are, you know because that technology is getting lower, people want to take a little bit more risk. You have to innovate your shows because you can't do the standard same old thing and expect to break out from the pack anymore. You've got to innovate a little bit. And that may just simply be, I mean, you know, hell, Creed was Rocky with a black lead. And it was fantastic. It's become... It certainly surpasses three, four, five, and seventeen Rockies, and it's it's in there with like you know, there's Rocky, and then Creed and Rocky too. On any given day, they're, they're my second favorite. I'm like, and he's and Michael B. Jordan crushed it, and it's a fantastic story to see him calling you know Sylvester Stallone, Uncle, yo, hey Uncle, how you doing? It's just this, it's this fantastic thing that everybody responds to, and nobody goes, that doesn't make any sense. Everybody just goes, yeah, I get that, because everybody knows they've got a good close family friend that's of a different race, religion, ethnicity, whatever, and it's all good. Because that's diversity. I love it. That's America. Exactly. Thank you so much for talking to us today, good and have a great you. night. You're right. awesome. Take, Take care. care.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And in the comments below, let me know what was your favorite TV moment of the year.